Hey folks, welcome back to the Talos Principle 2 and the Anthropic Hills. We have completed... No, we've done Western Delta. We're working on the Anthropic Hills. We've done four of the eight main puzzles, two of the lost puzzles, one of the stars. We have a lead on the second. We think we need to find a way to bring an activator to Pandora's statue. So, yeah, for now, we're not sure how that works. We're going to work on puzzle 5 through 8, or puzzles 5 through 8, and see if we can't complete this area. Let's go. Alrighty, Roo. Here's puzzle 5. Looks like Alcatraz is hanging out here. What do we have back here? There's the entrance to the lab. I don't know. There's lots of stuff kind of all around the edges. Like, what was this? This is puzzle six? All right, let's go back and do five, and then we'll continue on to six. Okay, here we go. This one's entitled Balance. All right. So we can see that guy up there would activate this fan. If we could activate both, I'm not sure what effect it would have. We've got a light source here. Uh, we've got... We need an activator to get through that puzzle, or that gate. Same here. And we have a... Uh, a connector. So let's just see what happens if we activate this. That turns on both fans. Which I guess lets us get up here? No. Is this fan of equal strength? It is. But I can take the activator. And I can go grab these boxes. Okay. So I think what we need to do is set things up so that this thing... I think we need to set the connector up there so that we can aim it at the activator over here. Not sure how we do that yet. Let's say we plop these down. How can we... Let's see. Can I see the light from here? I can see it from this side, which activates one, one block. If we take this and set it right here, can I jump from there to the other block? No. Hmm. What about if we interrupt this and then hop? Can't make it fast enough, huh? Okay. Hmm. I could maybe jump up here with it. Can I jump to that from here? No. Um. It does take it like a second or two. Let's see. Can I jump on this? Set this up, put it down, and then pick that up. I can. Okay. There we go. So now we can see this here. No, we need to get a box up as well, huh? Okay, we can do that. Or I could have just grabbed I could have just grabbed that, huh? Okay. Let's activate this. Grab that, go up. Okay. Um let's place this here. I think that'll work. And then we can take this over here. And we can see that from here. There we go, solved. Okay, now. 
We've solved the puzzle. Can we jailbreak the activator? Mayor Hermanubis, what would you say is your impression of the expedition so far? I think Alcatraz has done a heck of a job under these very trying circumstances. What about the decision to free Prometheus? Freeing the Prometheus entity was a calculated risk, but if it leads us to Byron, it was certainly worth it. It is saving one of our citizens that must be our first priority, not this alleged theory of everything. Hmm. So, it, again, Herman Ubis walks this very fine line for me between being a good person and being a schemer. Like, his comment on saving Byron is great, but then he... Then he tries to discredit the theory of everything because it represents a threat to the current order in New Jerusalem. I don't see a way to break anything out here. Not with the fans, not with the bricks. Or the box. Excuse me, the boxes. I don't see any way we could get high enough anywhere to pop something over a wall. I just don't see it. Like, we can get up on there, but then we can't jump from there to anywhere useful. We can get up on this, but that's not high enough to get over the wall. There's nowhere else that's lower. Maybe something here? I think that's too high, but maybe. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. That's not going to get us anywhere. Like, we could stack two boxes right here, but then we you can't jump off of this, so you can't get on top of it, and from there you, you then can't get out. Is there anything else with height that we can get to without a box that we could use as a stepping stone? A platform from which to jump on two stacked boxes? I don't think so. Like, there's this little platform here. This gives us a little bit of height, but we already tested that. We can't jump on two boxes from there. We can get some height here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me go get the other box down. And we'll give it a shot. Where was I looking? Over here? Yeah, there's a little something over here. So like... We did something like this. I could maybe jump to that? I don't know. Can't really jump off of here. Kind of, almost. If we move it closer, maybe. That's really bothering me. I want to turn that light off. As silly as it is, it's it's bugging me. <laughs> so, like, if we move that here... Did we jump on it? Get as much height as we can, and then... Yeah, I can get to this. Maybe I can make that work. Hold on, let's move it a little bit further forward. Somewhere like here? Can I make that? I can. Okay. There we go, I got it out. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> we, uh, we have... Extracted an activator. So let's take this back down to Minerva. Or not Minerva, um, Pandora. Pandora was over by, uh, she's over this way. 
Okay, maybe we can make this happen. I don't know whether this is intentional or not, but they did give us a way out there. We found some remains here. The ancient, this ancient vehicle expresses a stronger sense of aesthetics than most other artifacts of this type, suggesting that at some point in ancient history, vehicle design was approached with a different mentality. All right, how do we get to you, my girl? Uh, so we need to power that with, if we're using this activator, it needs a blue light. Let's see. Follow the beam, it goes to there. And then from there, we just put it near, it needs line of sight, but we need to just put it at the base of the statue, I think. Yeah. You can see it's lit up, it's lit up the statue as its connection. Okay, so now if we can get blue light to that thing, we'll get the star puzzle. Let's see if we can figure out from where we could potentially send blue light to this. It's only going to be one or two puzzles with the way this map is structured. It's got to come from in here, I think. Yeah, I don't see anywhere else it could come from. So let's see if we can make it happen. Uh, where is it? It's through... Through that hole? Yeah, there it is. Okay, and then where's the blue light? Let's leave that there and use the second connector. Oh, we don't have a second connector, but it's alright. I see it. No, that's the... Where's the blue light? Right there. Okay. So... We needed to hit both. We might need to put it on something. Oh, if we get this thing right here? Um, do we have another connector or not? We don't. We have... an activator. I think we need to get... this thing over here. Hold on. Hmm. There's not a great angle. Yeah, we can't really see. Huh. Is there a way we can do it in here? This is kind of rough. If we come here... That is almost connected. That's connected. So when that's white, that's connected. But how do we... How do we power you? You know what? I think I gotta go back and get a second connector. Because there was a connector in the place we took the... Um, where were we at? We were at... We were at five? Let's go back to five and get the other... But then we can't bring it in here, so that's not right. Is it something to do with the servitor? Is there another position we could hit this with? Like if I put it here, oh, what happened? Can we see it through? That's blocked. If it was on the servitor, would it be high enough to go over the wall? Maybe. Let's bring it out to the point of the triangle. And see if that helps us. No, that doesn't go through the wall. And we're right at the edge of where we could do anything useful, too. I guess if we had the second connector here, 
We could... We can go through purple. Yeah, we could get it that way. Maybe I do need a second connector. Let me go back to five and pluck it out. We can get it out the same way we got the, uh, the other thing. The activator. So we hop up in this corner, jump here, oh. come on, you can do it, almost had it, there we go, and then out, ugh, jumping puzzles, there we go, okay, I think we have the solution here. It was, it was this way, right? Yeah, and then we do this to that. There we go, very nice. Okay. That's another weight off my mind. Let's go get the star and see what Pandora has to tell us. It is not the voice of God that a prophet seeks in the desert, but the silence of man. It's only in the silence of man that he can hear the voice of God, though. So, once again, you're disingenuous, my friend. Okay, with the star puzzle complete, and the lost puzzles completed as well, we just have to wrap up 6, 7, and 8, and then make our way to the tower. Let's see if we can get those done. I would like to find the Stratton puzzle as well, if I can. Uh, I've lost the compass, so let me dip in and out of five. That should reset it. There we go. Let's see, six is up here a ways, I guess? Yes, okay. Who's lay numero? Seeks. Ascent. All right, once again, we have an activator with a light source. We do have a fan here, interestingly. Um, let's go through here first. What do we got? Interesting. Can we... Do I have a red light source somewhere? If we do, I don't see it. But we can activate through the range here. Like if I put that there. We can activate it like so. That activates a second one. It doesn't lower this. All right, let's get it closer. Like that. And then come in here and move this red one right here. That lets us get the hexahedron out. Not sure what value that has. Um, what else are we trying to do here? Something with the fan, I guess? So if we self-power, maybe we can get this past the blue gate. Like so. There we go. Nice. That does get us past the blue gate. Okay. So now we have the block. We have the hexahedron. We can power this here. We can use that to take this out. And then put it here. Drop the block on the pressure plate. 
And then we can come and power the fan like this. Oh, it's already powered. Uh, oh, we need the block. Okay, hold on. Oh, look at that. We don't even actually need the red one, do we? Carry it with us. Oh, I see. Okay, we actually need to move this back a little bit. And then we... Well... Need that not to power the fan. There we go. And then we drop this here. What happened? Needs to be close enough to actually hit the gate. There we go. Wrong one. Keeps the gate open. There we go. Okay, drop that. Up we go. Solved. Very nice. Onwards to puzzle seven. We have some new interface content available. Melville says, the future. The system is full of fragments related to space, as I thought. I've noticed that the Noema system is full of ideas for space travel and colonization. Designs for launch pads and ships, sketches of cities, even an unfinished design for large-scale teleportation between distant planets. An interstellar or even intergalactic civilization of the kind writers like Ian Banks imagined is entirely possible if we want it. Which leads me to another thought. These bodies we have are so carefully designed to look like our ancestors, but they don't really have to be. In his novels, Banks has intelligent minds like ourselves controlling entire ships or drones or even stations. If Alexandra Drennan was right, then it's not our shapes that make us human, and what it means to be human can be expanded if we maintain our creativity and our curiosity. With the theory of everything, we could transform ourselves as well as the world. The only question is, can we be trusted to build a society that actually works just for once in our long and stupidly bloody history? Is something like the culture actually possible? Or is it just a daydream and will be and we'll always end up with another dystopia. Maybe Athena finally found the answer to that question. This is the most amount of thought or text that Melville has ever put into anything. I think she is enchanted by the idea of turning ourselves into multiformed entities, retaining our humanity only in the shape of our thoughts and dreams, our hopes for the future, our impulse to altruism and empathy. I think beneath the kind of like sarcastic, bad photography, crusty outer shell, I think Melville's a real dreamer and a beautiful soul. All right, onwards to puzzle seven. Thoughts about our companions notwithstanding. Oh, hello, you're something. There's an activator back there. Okay, all right, I get it. So the thing we jailbroke was probably not the thing we were supposed to use to solve the puzzle. We were probably supposed to use this from somewhere up there. One of the puzzles, we could probably aim a drill way down across the map, crack this open and get the activator. But I already did it, so I don't care that we did it the wrong way, the quote unquote wrong way. It's fine. Uh, so seven, I think is going to be, yes, up here. Eight is this way. Seven's this way. All right. We might have to backtrack, but so be it if we do. Up the switchback stairs and into the puzzle itself. All right. This one's called closed off. I see. So, at present, we can't take you past this blue gate. But we'll fix that. We got a jammer in there. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Not a lot to work with here. 
So I guess we have to figure out how to get you out. I guess we can at least move you over here. That should open both gates. Okay, then we can get this out, the jammer. Fair enough. Oops. And get in here and take a look. So we need to activate this power to jump up there. All right. Well, let's take this out first. And then... I guess... No, we can't get close enough there. We're gonna have to bring this through. Um... So we're gonna need to... Put that, like, there. That's... Then we can't get through. And we can't get it close enough to let ourselves through, huh? Uh, but we can open that from the other side, can't we? Uh, okay, hold on, I have an idea. So we actually want to do this. Maybe not, hold on. Um... Hmm. <clears throat> uh, let's see. We need both of these things on the other side. So... What if we do this? Can I hit... Can I hit you? And the thing behind me at the same time. I think so, if I open this? Yes, that's holding both open. Okay. And then we actually need to... We need this one. So we can get through. Then we come over here, power this from there. Open you, and we're done. All right, there's puzzle seven. Very smart one, Kay. Thank you, Yakut. I didn't mean to sound surprised. I mean, like, clearly, you know what you're doing. Clearly. <laughs> so let's head... I think we've seen that. We dropped down there. Eight is this way? Okay. Uh, one thing I would be interested in seeing that we haven't found is Stratton. I don't know where he might be on this map. Where am I going for eight? This way? Okay. One thing we should do is, like, head around the edges of the map, I think. Eight's ahead. Okay. Like, is he down there? Yeah, here's eight. Okay. So, like, if I want to go look at the edge of the map, like, how much further south can I go? And go down here. And then, like, we probably have to circumnavigate. Like, this map is so big. Can I actually get over to any of that? I don't th think so. I might be able to get over there. But I obviously can't cross this. We're near... We're near... Can we get over there? Do I see a little golden... A little golden man anywhere? I do not. No golden hologram. Nope. Alright, well, it's gonna take a minute and a half to find him. I might cut it out of the video. Or to be honest, I might just go look up his location. Can we get over to that chunk over there? He might be over there. I don't think we can get to there. I don't really think so. But that promontory might be possible, and he might be there. I don't know, maybe. 
Melville, anything to say? No? All right. Like, could he be hidden down... Like, you know, on an area like this? I guess not here, but he could be. Anywhere else to go here? Yeah, I don't know how I would get over there. All right. For now, let's head back to eight, and then we'll, I don't know, we'll look around a bit. Where's eight? We'll look around a bit for Strat and see if we can find him. Oh, like, what's that over there? That? I haven't taken that ride, wherever that goes. Hold on. Hello. I haven't seen you before. What do you lead to? Wow, way, way, way up here. And then another ride. Okay. Hold on, before I leave, where do you go? Hey, found him. Nice. All right. So, last time he indicated that he was seeing something of what was happening in real time. So, I'm curious what he says here. It is easy to speak of one's principles when the world is at peace. And there is no price to pay for thoughts that stray from what is permitted. But when times grow hard, and even ordinary men are filled with mindless anger, when the face of the enemy is suddenly known to every virtuous citizen, and to question the virtuous is to be likened to Ephialtes, when every hoary old superstition suddenly springs back to life as if it had never been defeated, and all the work of the philosophers seems to have been for naught, then one may discover what one truly believes. All right, no comments this time on the robots. But I understand what he's saying. Like, philosophy in times of peace is an idle pastime. When the world is at war, when everything is crumbling around you, when, you're, when you and your children are starving, that's when you find out what you really believe. Like, let's say you're someone who would never, ever shoplift. Right? Or at least that's what you think about yourself. But then you come home from a day of scavenging in the war-torn countryside with nothing to show for it, and your children ask you what's for dinner after a day of not eating. At that point, if you had the opportunity to snag a candy bar, you know, from a convenience store, is, is, can you really say you wouldn't do it on principle? Or would you refine your principles, find out what you thought you believed isn't actually 100% accurate? And that there are exceptions to what you thought of as ironclad rules. A very good point from Stratton there. Let's follow this, uh, this ride. I want to see where it takes me. Oh, hello. That's fun. I think we saw this before and I thought I had to drop down onto it, but that's not how it played out. All right. So we found Stratton. That was the last thing we were looking for. Let's go ahead and make our way to Puzzle 8 and wrap this place up. I guess he's inside the, the body here. I think I'm going to die here. Nope. Made it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Alright, eight's down there. Let's go. This one's titled Backwards. Okay, so we've got a hexahedron, a connector. There's an activator on the other side of that. A fan, which will send something up. So... Okay. Well, let's start with the obvious. This is going to go here. And this is going to go here. Excuse me. Then we have to position the activator where it's going to do some good for us. So, I guess we'll start right here. But how does that help us? Because then we can't go inside, can we? Oh, it's actually not good enough, is it? Even up on the box, it's not good enough. Um... Okay, so it's got to be further back than that. I guess we need to activate both the gate and the fan. So yeah, we want to put it somewhere like here. It looks like you can see all three from here. That'll get that box out for us.
Okay. What does the box let us do? We could put it on the pressure plate if we could get it out of here. Hmm. So what we need now is to activate it there. How are we going to do that? This isn't going to reach. Oh, we disconnected it. Can we activate the fan itself? Like if I do this, no, that won't reach the fan. We have to be as far back as we can, like that, so that it goes over the wall. I don't know if that's far back enough. Let's see. That would activate the gate, but then we, we would have to leave, and then we can't go grab it, so... Hmm. What else can we do? Can we... Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's a way to... If we could set this up so that it self-powers, like what if we do this? Let's grab this as well, put this here. If we can set it up to self-power, we have a shot at doing something interesting. Let's try this. That's enough to self-power. So then what are we doing? We don't need the connector out here or the box. We can get everything inside or we could get two things. We could get the we could get the hexahedron out, I believe. We could ensure that the that this is not interrupted and we could remove the hexahedron here, I think. Yeah. So then I think Yeah, I think I get it. Okay. So this is going to come up here and sit here like this. This goes on here. And now we just move this back to the to the solution gate, right? There we go. Well, there we go. That's that's all the puzzles plus the Stratton hologram found in the Anthropic Hills, right? We're done. Yeah, that's everything. So it's up to the tower now. Uh, how do I get to the tower? Where's the gate? It's over this way. Not quite sure how to get there, but we'll go find it. So, as has been pointed out to me, I missed a couple Stratons earlier. I don't know whether I need to go go figure out which ones I found and go find them in earlier areas in order to get the full Straton story, but I probably do. Let's focus on this for now. That's not right. Right. 
That doesn't work either. There we go. Okay, here we go. Up to the tower. The Sphinx asked you about my story. You said that hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. And you were right. Hope is not gone from the world. Some small part of it still survives. But it is not in the flame or in these towers. It lives in the hills and the forests, in the rivers and the seas. You were given a world full of hope, creature of clay. It is yours to protect. Hmm. Hope is not in nature. Nature has no agency, has no choice, has no consciousness. Hope is in people. People will fail you, creature of clay. When the time comes, they will abandon you. Heed my words. You're consistently wrong, Pandora. So, Melville, what do you make of these beams? Do they seem safe to you? Nothing is really safe. You could kill yourself with a fork, and I'm sure someone has. <laughs> but anything can be used safely if you choose to. I see. That's right, Cryer. There's no board of governance, there's no authority, there's no safety regulations, no FAA that can make everything safe and perfectly swaddle you so that you live a life with no risk. Everything depends on you taking responsibility for yourself and making choices that are cautious and wise. I should say thoughtful and wise. That's going to do it for the Anthropic Hills. Let's head over to the High Plain, a high altitude plateau in the island's western mountain range. The surrounding region often has restricted, vi restricted visibility due to fog. We're getting closer. I hope Byron is still okay. Prometheus seemed to think so. Let's hope he's trustworthy. The grand finale, you guys. We've arrived. This looks like a space station to me. Very cool. All right, folks, uh, we've arrived here. Remarkable structure. But what can its purpose be? Actually, I can answer this one. In the files 1K downloaded, there's a design for a launch pad for space vehicles. This is about 90% identical. Is it functional? I don't think so. Not if the inside is like the other towers. Wow. Imagine if it worked. Imagine if we could go up there. I mean, the stars, not the top of the tower. <laughs> Although, that would be cool too. Okay, so we've arrived at the High Plain, the final puzzling area of the game. Lots of people want to talk to us. There's puzzles to do, star puzzles to find, uh, a Stratton of Stagira, hologram presumably to locate. But all that's going to have to wait for next time, because this is a good place to take a break, and I will do so. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next time. Take care.